Hey guys, this is Lisa with Geek Girl Finds. I am here with yet another video in the same outfit as the last two. It's Monday. It's my day to record videos. Uh, but anyways, I did want to do a quick unboxing of the new PokemonCenter.com and Funko um, A Day with Pikachu charged up for game day. We were able to get it this time at GameStop and we didn't have to, well, let me rephrase that. I didn't have to go through the stress of purchasing it on release day on PokemonCenter.com. It's it's so stressful. Like, I've nearly vomited, you know, just trying to get stuff because Jason just loves his Pikachus and he wants to collect the whole set because the whole A Day with Pikachu is a whole year's, year's worth of, um, you know, seasonal related Pikachus. Also, on a bonus, the Squirtle had just released, and Jason was able to pick that up at GameStop as well, so I wanted to unbox this little guy real quick. So, let's first start off with Squirtle. Um, Jason wants to get a second one, because he wants to put glasses on him. So, Squirtle Squad, you know. Um... So, but anyways, this one, I remember seeing the pictures of it before they released. I was like, it's so small. So, let's see how small it is. Oh, my gosh. He's very small. He's a tiny little guy, people. Here's his back, his squirtle butt, and his little turtle shell. So, but he's very cute. I mean, this is like, what, two inches? three tops I don't even know but he's a he's a tiny little guy so that Squirtle I'm gonna leave him out of the box so I'll take pictures and put them on the Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram it's at geek girl finds just like the name of my channel so next let's do a day with Pikachu um, so when you open it I don't know if we've taken them out of the box yet so when you open it, it uh, has a little card. It says, get away for a day with Pikachu. And it gives you hints at what's coming up next month. Um, surprises for, surprises to fall for is October, um, which I saw a picture of it on Instagram. And I wasn't real impressed with that one. to be honest with you and the next one is completely thankful November um, so yeah it's kind of like a guess you know what's it gonna look like it's just an outline people so let's get him out very carefully one thing I will say it is has been stressful getting the Pikachus but I'm glad we've been able to get the whole set so far okay this is being problematic um, these, I think they're they're like fourteen ninety nine, but their value, even my lowest valued one, which is I think is the first one, it was the one lucky day where he was like a leprechaun. That one still has a value of like thirty dollars. So, you're if you wanted to sell them at some point, um, this is a line that I definitely feel will hold its value for quite some time because I'm sorry, Pokemon fans are crazy people. Um, so yeah, here is Pikachu in his game day gear, and from what I read, um, the coloring on the jersey is kind of a nod to a team in Washington uh, State, so, but that's him, he's got his little foam finger, he's got his football, you can see the ridges on the grass back here this one I think is just so cute and I'm so glad that it seems like this one is a little bit more widely available to people this has not even been released yet on PokemonCenter.com it is uh, I would imagine it's probably gonna release this week but GameStop got theirs quick and they had a street date of the 7th of last week of uh, August 7th so they started appearing and luckily Texas was one of the first states they started appearing so we uh, we were on top of that we were like white on rice 
So, but anyways, that's the quick unboxing for that. See, I told you I'd try to keep it quick. So, but anyways, please give a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Have you been collecting the um, A Day with Pikachu figures? And what has your experience been? Uh, also, just leave hello if you want. Say hi. Uh, but anyways, I will see you guys soon. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye.